Making news tonight, people across the nation are holding vigils for immigrants and for our country. One of those happened in Ozark this evening. Our David Chazanov is live with more. David, how many people attended tonight's event? Yeah, Heather, about 100 people gathered here at the Christian County Justice Center, and immigrants got to share their stories with the crowd. God loves the world. It's not, God loves every, every one of us, and we need to open our eyes to that. That's a message Dr. Judith Gonzalez was trying to spread at the Lights for Liberty vigil in front of the Christian County Justice Center, which is next to the jail where the Christian County Sheriff confirms ICE detainees are held for the federal government. Dr. Gonzalez immigrated to America 23 years ago. She shared her personal story of coming to America with one goal in mind. I hope that... Um, they can start uh, creating some awareness that other things that we can do. Jordana Vera of the Lost shared a poem this evening from an immigrant with a specific message. Americans go the distance to help animals, but when it comes to immigrants... When I see people not doing the same things for humans who are just trying to create the American dream, just like everybody else, then that really bothers me, and, and that's the message of the poem, like, hey, let's put ourselves in their shoes, let's have empathy. Reverend Christy Love provided a call to action and prayer. In doing that, she says she emphasized the importance of making actions speak louder than words. Yes, I know a lot of us feel grieved over the situation, but we're not really sure what can we do. And so knowing that we can call um, legislators, knowing that we can get involved, we can spread words, have conversations. And organizer Susan Schmaltzbauer made the closing comments, which were about how America needs to change its ways. We want secure forwarders but we want humane treatment and seeking asylum is a basic human right. And America is better than this. Now deputies did not intervene tonight as the vigil remained peaceful throughout. Reporting live, David Chazanoff, Ozarks First.